Hello everybody, welcome back, C-Ray Tech here. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the Beta 65S Lite. So this is a very, very cool idea from Beta FPV, thank you guys. Huge appreciation to Beta FPV for sending this over. Um, this comes with their new Lite flight controller. And this is basically <clears throat> a toy grade flight controller that takes silverware. So this is going to be on par with the E011 flight controller, the H8 mini flight controller, the um, B-Whoop flight controllers. So all the current flight controllers that are able to support silverware, this is going to be a very similar experience. You still get all the great um, stick inputs to be able to change your modes. And um, I mean, I got this, I got the bind and fly. Um, I do have the module, I haven't had a chance to sit down with it yet, but I found it awesome that I could just use the original E011 transmitter. Because with this quad, my plans were to do my testing and allow my son to fly this because I've been really looking for a good budget um, whoop style micro that I could have my son fly. And at $43, this is perfect. You get, oh, let me, I'll, I'll put the specs up. You'll be able to see them right over here. But this thing has the 65 millimeter wheelbase. It's got uh, the new light flight controller, 7x16, 17,500 kV motors. So you get that same awesome performance that you saw with the Beta FPV 65S. You get the same 5.8 gigahertz Beta FPV Z01 camera. So you're going to get that awesome reception and good picture quality. <clears throat> this comes with their standard 260 milliamp hour. Um, high voltage battery and you get about three minutes of flight time and um, I've been flying it around and my son flew it a little bit and he's been having a good time with it he's loving it um, but yeah we're getting about three minutes or so uh, the LVM which is built in which is nice especially for these uh, types of quads um, I landed I landed it it was blinking and it was at 3.4 volts so it was pretty good and uh, let's see yeah, and it comes in three different options. You can get a bind and fly, and there's two different ready to fly versions. One actually comes with a toy gray transmitter, but it's full size, so you don't have to worry about um, you know messing around with that jelly bean transmitter anymore. Um, yeah, so I've been flying it with this, but you'll get a full size transmitter if you buy that version. And I think it's only so it's forty two ninety nine for the bind and fly, and it's forty nine ninety nine. For the ready to fly so for 50 bucks out of the box you can fly and then they also have another version that comes with goggles so I mean they <clears throat> this is gonna be an awesome uh, budget very budget friendly kit which I highly recommend if your kids are looking to get into it um, if you have friends who want to start flying but don't want to dump a lot of money I mean you can get some VR006s or something along those lines for, for well under $100 so you can get some goggles and you can get this kit for 50 bucks and you're good to go. And I'm gonna say right now, out of the box, this is gonna kill the E013. I mean, I thought that was a pretty cool kit. It had a nice price point, but you get silverware out of the box with this one. So definitely check this out. Also, speaking of silverware, I have to say thank you very, very much to the silverware team and not fast enough for um, all the progress and great stuff that they've been doing. Um, not fast enough just released race mode, which is super awesome. You get you get acro in your pitch, but you have stability in your roll. So it's amazing, like you can just scream fast, but you have you still have that ability to kind of bounce off stuff, you know, and recover. And I, I've not been able to fly it yet, but I, I, I'm hoping to be able to, to try not only the silver silver light or I'm sorry, the silverware version, but then also the beta flight version that just came out. So check that out. There's a thread on, I believe there's a thread on RC groups. And I know that there's some stuff going on, and I've seen it on um, Facebook. So check that out. I'll put some links up for that too. But this thing is pretty cool. So I'm actually going to stop the video here. 
<clears throat> I'm going to do a second video with flight footage because, like I said, I've had my son fly on this and he has been having a ball. And I wanted to not only show flight footage for myself but and my son and then um, our opinions and how we feel about it. He's been flying the Beta 75S and the E011, so I want to see his take on this because this is going to be his second micro quad that he's been able to fly with a camera. So it'll be interesting to see the difference between somebody who's just started out and is five years old and um, you know somebody who's been flying for a little bit. So stay tuned for that video. I'm excited to get that out. Um, also, I did start a second channel called C Ray Prints. That channel is going to be for 3D printing. So, uh, if any of you guys have been following the channel, you've seen that I have some 3D printers. And I have been having an awesome, awesome time. And with those 3D printers, I've been making all kinds of very cool things. So, I've wanted to be able to share um, my wealth of knowledge that I've obtained over a pretty short period of time and I uh, hope that I can help people in the 3D printing community and then also I can help people in the RC community by exposing them to very cool 3D printed stuff. So one of the things that I have just made and will be available on my store is these what I'm calling color packs. So these color packs are TPU covers for all your switches, knobs, and gimbals. And I have them right now for the QX7 and then I've got a set right now that I made for the Devo 7E. Now most of the switches across transmitters are fairly similar so I'm trying to get a general consensus of the sizes across the board so I can get these made for all transmitters. Now right now I have them in black and I also have them in an emerald green and this awesome violet color. So like I said I'll have these on the store, oh, i got to trim these up, and um, after this weekend I will have ruby red. I will have a really nice blue color and then I will also have orange so if you guys are interested in those definitely feel free to shoot me a comment um, and I will make sure to get you all the information you need if you're interested in that but I think that's gonna be all for me today if you guys have any questions about the 65s light let me know I will be happy to answer any questions um, stay tuned for that flight footage video the silverware flashing video and then I will like I said I'll also be doing a video on the transmitter module so that that way we can all use our hobby grade transmitters to be able to fly this quad yeah I think that's it I don't think I have anything else left for this one so if you guys could do me a huge favor and like share and subscribe I would greatly appreciate it if you want to stop by C-Ray Prints and throw me a sub there, that would be awesome uh, if you guys are into 3D printing. And um, I think that's going to be all for me today. So as always, guys, fly safe and fly often.